Ooh, welcome back everybody, Maxwell here, bringing you another episode of Victoria 2 Pop the Man Mod, playing as the Heavenly Kingdom. So I went uh, in between episodes and, you know, sent people everywhere, hopefully fin finalizing some uh, major armies together, and the Philippines decided to civilize, so I believe I shall make a make puppet on them. The reason being that I want to then push them this way for that. I could decide that I wanted to make them... Because it's 600,000, I could just declare war for them. Justify a conquest, but that's 22 versus 7. Making a puppet on the Philippines is... Oh man, it's a huge amount of just spices here. I mean, you so want to just, uh... Take this for sale. Oh, there's Zulu. Huh. Forgot where Zulu was. Because it's hidden so well. Do I want to just go for a... I could just go for conquest here. 22. I have signed a Geneva Convention, which takes a little bit away. And then I'd still have 11. I do have Prince of Terror, though, which does not do me well. Um... God damn it. Uh, I thought I would make a decision before I started this episode, but apparently that's not the case. Um, so Conquest or Make Puppet? I kind of just want to do Conquest. It's 640,000, but it's a lot of spices, and spices are my thing. And by that I mean I want spices. Where are spices? Where am I on this? I'm the first one. Cool. It's in high demand as well. Huh. Yeah, I mean right there. That's where all the spices are. The wild spice farm. Um You know what, screw it, let's mm, do I wanna do it? It's either that or make puppet. Spice Islands, Japan, them, taking back land from Russia, but that's not going to cost me much. The UK, then Tibet. Yeah, let's do Conquest. I want to get some assurances for that stuff. Where's the Navy? Right there. So I'm going to have to put on like a couple armies, but that'll be a little while. Share, point. Hey, Grand Army. Nothing horrible happened. All right, make minor reforms. I'm gonna keep doing this because revolutionary uprising scares the the wording scares the crap out of me. I should probably pay my guys a bit more, actually. It's probably a good idea. I don't know if it is, but. I think it'll help. Ooh, I can have over a million people. That's awesome. Uh, minor reforms. Seems like I can spend more here. But the good thing about this is that this spending goes to pay people, which then goes back into the economy a bit. Which is why the hit isn't that high. Minor reforms. At least I don't think it is. Crop rotation there. All right, interchangeable parts. Let's go cheap iron. Ooh, lots of good stuff right there. Discovery of coke and all that stuff. Not the coke you're thinking of. Different type of coke. Coke related to the industry. Ah, and clergymen here finish in northern Zeshuan. Remove uh, Feng Tieng clergymen. Yep. Let's get a little bit of clergymen going there. Good. All right, I had you, and I wanted to send you over to there. Yep. You nine thousand. Do I have any room for you for something? Nah, it's fine for now. People are still moving around, so I'll give it a bit. Good. Uh, in them old cotton fields, the cotton produced in one of our farming provinces is of the highest possible quality quality and strength. So strong, in fact, is the cotton that the white balls harvested there have begun building quite a reputation for themselves. Good. 
Now I could do this. That's very awesome. Or I could get the Seek Empire, improve and get some prestige. I am losing a lot of prestige from doing that. Yeah, I'd, I'd much rather do this. Get prestige. Yeah. Compensate my losing of prestige and other things. I got 13.6. Alright, let's sign the... I can't sign the Geneva Convention? Why not? Oh, I mean you need less than bad boy. Be okay. We'll see if I get that. Uh, Southern Hunan integration. We'll see if I ever get to that point. Oh god. <laughs> I might not ever get to that point. I guess I should have signed the Geneva Convention beforehand. Alright, you finished in Hainan. So, you? Yep. Southern Hunan needs some craftsmen. And I want to spend some more on building and expanding, you guys. Looking good. Um, yeah, I probably want this at least 75%. Rubber reduction, population growth, knife, anesthesia, military hospitals, good. Alright, so a couple of you definitely uh, are good functioning individuals. So I probably only need four armies to take these guys down. I'm just gonna go with easily. That's four is enough. Yeah, four should be enough. Uh, minor reforms uh, scares the crap out of me. China and revolts is not something you want to have intertwining. Never ever ever have intertwining. They wouldn't even talk to me about something like that. 70% looking good. Pharmaceutical plant. Looking very good. Alright. Um, who are you? Your officers and soldiers are down here. Okay, I need to start taxing these guys a little bit less. Which, when I get further in, uh, we'll be able to do just because I will change from this to a reform heavy driven of the Yi King. He wants, uh, these are liberals which want to reform. Whereas conservatives don't want to do it unless pushed. Alright, uh, immigration is the highest one. Yep, education reform. Oh, the Chinese unification dropped to 27,000 rather than. Oh, wow, okay, so that was. Okay, it's definitely a good idea to uh, do the reforms rather than just say, bring them out and crush them. Uh, because this went from 700,000 to 27,000. People don't care about this. Nobody cares about these rebels anymore. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Uh, if I go to this, conservatives 100% say no. And the reason is because they don't want to do reforms unless pushed. Can I see that here? Yeah, prefer the status quo, but may back reforms under conditions of high militancy. These guys allow to enact further political reforms who also support social reforming under conditions of hide. So they want political reforms mostly, social guys. Another general died, not great. Um, you're still building and for another year. So I don't think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to focus on these guys still. Although I should focus on military now, but I definitely want to do this stuff. I mean, I'm getting so much money just from the amount of industry that I can pop out here. Now, I need to do at least some of this stuff. It doesn't take too long. Although, I'm not going to be at war with Japan for a while because my infamy is so massively high. Education efficiency, nice. And machine part, beautiful. Um, let's get this up to 75% at the very least. The Geneva Convention and all that will reduce it to 90% maximum anyway. Well, yeah, that's fine. Okay, there are some rebel factions, but they shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right, we got annexation. Let's move you four onto this. And I guess I'll fill in the holes a bit. You four. 15 go there. That doesn't even really matter too much. No, not really. Need a couple more. I'll do this in between episodes, like always. 
Especially with China, armies are a ridiculous thing. <sighs> Bronze production. Alright, you guys move there. Huh, you're not really repairing, even though I have, what, full budget? Yeah, full budget. Oh, it's because you're... I put you in... Jesus. I'm not putting you in a place that would work too well. Good thing the supply range there works. Not allied with anybody? Nobody? Fudge, you're friendly. Will you join? You're really far away from me. Canada owns Alaska. Wow. That's awesome. I don't know if you will join. You're so far away from me. I'll hate you if you join. But you're strong enough to cause me problems. Oh boy. Now this is a good question. Let's just do it. If I don't complete it, I only lose 10 prestige, so it's not the end of the world. Um, go like... Oh, I can't go like that. Alright, fine. Everybody land there, and then... We'll see what happens. Alright, that finished. Next military plan. Oh, and I probably should increase relations with somebody. Uh, US? Why not? Russia, oh yeah, definitely Russia, we're negative relations, which is not what I want. You're not in this anymore? Oh, my infamy skyrocketed, they probably quit the alliance after that happened. Alright, this should be really quick, should be. Take the stuff as quickly as you can. Army and organization increases. That fell. That fell. Before the US gets involved, please. That's the hope, at least. Boom. Alright. Full. Besieged, proposed peace, they would accept this annex. Ah, oh, I got out of that in one in one piece. Thank goodness. Uh, you guys can actually stay here. 48, 47, yep, perfect. You guys can stay there. And you guys need to rest up. Let's go back to the place where we can store a lot of these people. Alright, more military plans finished. Let's get that then. Oh god, and then in between episodes I'm also going to build a lot of the, uh... With the hospital, steel, canned food. I'm going to build a lot of the forts that are going to be made. Oh my god, what is this? Resistance against the Nanjing government has culminated in a breakdown in authority. What began with several outlying warlords declaring the independence and ended with the most powerful generals and Beijing armies struggling for control. Oh god, what the hell is this? All countries, all the below either that and is not civilized will become a civilized nation. Korea will end its alliance with me and I release them. What? Oh my god, what the hell is this? Is this? Excuse me, what the fuck just happened? happened here? Nobody was angry! Zero militancy, so why the hell did that fire off? What the hell just happened? Oh my god, and of these four armies, I only get one person? What crap is this?
What the hell just happened? I don't understand what the hell just happened. The worst part is, look at this. I want to become these guys. Oh no, that's not baying. That's Anhui cliche. But let me look at this. Oh yeah, Anhui cliche. No, 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 no. It's not the same as this. Yeah, Beiyang China. Nobody's Beiyang China, are they? No. What the hell just happened? I can build like nobody right now! Game, you did not just fudge me over so hard right here. You know what the worst part is? I can't even fudging declare war on these guys! I have to do a freaking egg- oh my god! What? It's China! I'm supposed to own China! Holy shite balls! What the hell just happened? I need to own Peking. And these guys don't exist. And then I get Chinese reunification. But that... Oh my god. the fuck do I do right now? I apologize for any horrible language. What the hell am I supposed to do? There's like nobody available here anymore, and Korea is by itself. The fudge is happening right now. I don't have cores on everybody. This is making it like 10 times harder. Chinese reunification doesn't fudging mean anything right now. If I was a little bit stronger, this wouldn't be the end of the world, but look at this! I'm serious, if I didn't take over any of this stuff, I'd be down to this and this. How the hell is the Heavenly Kingdom supposed to fight off against that? When, look at these guys start off with 332 units! And the same technology, and they're civilized! How the hell? How in the fudging world am I supposed to get around this? I kind of want to, like, do the... This is ridiculous! Holy crap!
I have 19 million people. Where's the person close to me in size? 13 million. Population makes it impossible to do that. Can I do add sphere? Oh, you can do an add to sphere. Okay. This thing says that ore is in sphere, right? Or is in sphere of influence. But I'm not a freaking guy anymore after this. This person will most likely be the person in the sphere. Because he's the more populated and everything like that. Oh god, I totally want to play this guy. <sighs> the hell am I supposed to do right now? I can't attack him. The people that I can freaking do anything on is this guy, which is impossible. I'd have to do spheres on the smaller guys. And I want you to walk in here, so go like that. Oh god, this sucks. What the hell is this crap? I have to declare war on this guy, put him in my sphere, start with the weak guys, and move forward. And if he's in my sphere, then I can ally them. No, I can't do it in the sphere! This guy is useless! Holy crap! <sighs> Playing as the Heavenly Kingdom is impossible now! I have no use- I have, what, 3,000 here, I have my navy, what good is the navy when they're crap? I have, what, like maybe 30,000 something units here? Maybe 40,000? <laughs> oh man, I got, I don't know, this is just losing all the effects. Losing all of the effects. Oh yeah, and these guys form Baying China. Yeah, they're Baying China and they have all that crap. Oh, Germany is at war. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to stop recording here and leave a major decision to you guys. Unfortunately, because this decision will kind of maybe screw it around a bit, uh, I may, there may be a day break between the episodes, because this is a major decision. This has to be a major decision. One, there's no way in hell I'm going to be strong enough. I have 67 units. I can, can't declare war on these guys. I am a great power currently, but I'm falling and it will be ending in a year. So I can technically do the add to sphere, but that won't last long enough because they'll immediately leave my sphere when I drop from great power status. So the idea that I'm having is either I continue playing as the Heavenly Kingdom, horrendously poor, no idea how I'm gonna function because I can get 160, but I can't create any goddamn units. I can't do anything right now. Ugh, God, okay, let me, let me think as this goes along. Because I, I, what I'm fearing is the fact that, look, some of these aren't even uh, Chinese unification. Two of them aren't even freaking here yet, so I'm thinking that I'm going to lose more land or something else of the kind, and more of these guys are going to show up. What else can I even lose? I only have these two couple things here. Are these considered my core? Yeah, okay, this is my core, so this is most likely safe. I'll so cry if I lose, like, these two. Now, this is my capital, so I can't lose that. Uh, Alright, so here's the idea. Oof. Traditional academia, okay. Alright, here's the idea that I have. It's either stay as the Heavenly Kingdom, and I have no clue what to do after that, because 
I can attack these guys, but they are already bigger than what I have. And they can probably add more and more units because they're they're decently sized. Then there's these guys. They have 300 brigades. 300 people. And I have most of my claims on these guys, but I need to fight these guys. Then I need to take Peking. So I need to claim this place, which is their capital? Or where's their capital? This is most likely their capital, right? Where is your capital? If it's not your capital, this makes it slightly easier, but still ridiculously difficult. Wait, where the hell is your capital? I want to say it's Peking. Because that makes the most sense of that should be your capital. Because uh, this is easy to find, but where the heck's your red dot? I don't see a red dot in Peking. I don't see any goddamn red dot. I must be missing it completely. I don't see the red dot, so most likely Peking isn't their capital, which makes it a little easier the fact that I only have to take these guys. Take those guys, and then do... Oh god. The problem is that it's, there's so much. So much land. I cannot, physically cannot fight these guys. Because they're too strong. I'd have to fight everybody else and take all of their land before I fight Beijing China. But China has the reunification thing, so they have access to like everything like core access so either i continue playing as the heavenly kingdom and i don't know it's a dot 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 at this point i have no idea what to do with the heavenly kingdom because i can still lose some more land most likely it will happen because the freaking politics says there's some people that are still left so i can lose more land most likely this one but i hope it's not because it's my god well no, i lost this and that's my course so i'm most likely gonna lose this which is a huge number of more people and uh, resources, then I can only take this stuff back unless I claim it and I'm at infamy limit of holy crap high. The other option is, this is, this is straight up cheating to switch it to these guys. I wanted to play these guys more than the Heavenly Kingdom to begin with, but play as Beiying. Oh my God, it's Bai Feren. You know what the worst part is? The Heavenly Kingdom has Nafaren and Bifaren, and population-wise, I can't tell anymore, but Nafaren was like 40-something percent, so if I just switch to you, I might lose stuff. Although, if I Chinese unification, do I gain, like, a uh, ad thingy or anything? Ka, Peking, blah, 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 country flag, part of no faction, Baina, I don't know, something happens. Uh... I might not get it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Baying is the most is the easiest way to get back. If I play as the Heavenly, I don't think by the end of the game I'll even have half of China. So if you guys want me to completely struggle and play uh, the kill myself, I need to take over as much as I can from China very slowly, very, 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 very slowly, impossible game, then we can do that. The worst part is the fact that I have to kill these guys to do it, which means I have to do Conquest, which is 22. We're never going to get out of this loophole if I do that. Or I switch to Beiyang, and I do the hard-fought way of taking land back, and when I get to the point of becoming a great power, I can just fight for, uh, like, making these guys. These guys would become, and the Heavenly Kingdom would become uh, in my sphere. And then I can take them all over. Those are the two options that I'm giving you. I'm going to not play another episode until this episode comes out for you guys. And then I want you to quickly tell me what to do. And I probably will just decide at that point. I mean, another... Uh, this, this one probably is not going to work out as much. But another idea is that I could do two... Like a tree branch series from this and do both. 
But I'd rather not do that. Playing as the Heavenly Kingdom is gonna suck so much. I don't think I'll be able to take anything anymore. The fact that my infamy is already high, I have the Prince of Terror. Nothing's going right right now. What the hell happened? Everything was going okay. Nobody was angry with me. The revolt risk was like nothing throughout the entire empire. How does this, how does this event happen when there's no revolt risk? I just don't know. I have no idea how that happens. All right, I leave this up to you guys. I my personal opinion is I'd rather play Bay, Beijing China because with Beijing China, let's say we're ten years in, ten years from this point, I'll have reunified China, and then I can actually push for what I'd wanted to for the rest of the game. Whereas right now, if I don't do that, play as the Heavenly Kingdom. It is going to take 30 years, at the least, at the very, very least, before I take even, like, half of China. And then we're pretty much a couple years before the end of the game. Eight years before the end of the game. There's no way I'll be able to take everything and do any further pushes. So, guys, all right, three options for you guys. Please, please comment below. To continue as Heavenly Kingdom, rage all the time, Option B is switch to Beijing, China, because I wanted to play those guys to begin with because they're the cores everywhere. Then reunify through that, through some hard fought battles, through a lot of these guys, but it'll be easier because they have cores and everything, so I don't have to claim and get infamy and all that stuff. And the last one is branch and do both. I'd rather not do Heavenly Kingdom to begin with, but if you guys really want me to, I'll do two separate series where we're doing both playthroughs. But I hope you enjoy this episode with the massive amount of salt at the end. But my opinion is I want to play Bang China. I'm just putting that down, but I'll follow what you guys uh, advise me. My advisors, I'd like you to advise me on this desperate situation that has occurred. Uh, the other thing that I really, really want is that if I do Chinese reunification... Do I get Japan again? I don't even know. Heavenly Kingdom might not even give it to me. I believe Heavenly Kingdom is not allowed to exist, right? I know I'm rambling on at this point. Yeah, Bang does not exist or is in the sphere of influence. All this land I've now taken outside of this this area is kind of pissing me off now. Hopefully if I do, you know, uh, sphere them, they will make it easier for me. I hope that Japan doesn't take this opportunity to fight back against the Heavenly Kingdom here. Oh god, no, that sucks too. They'll have to be one of my first guys I fight, put them in my sphere, if I become being. Alright. Final time. Three options are continue as Heavenly Kingdom, option B is play as Bang China, or option C is branch and do both. Uh, my opinion is I want to play as Bang China because I want to actually have China and declare war on other people because otherwise this entire campaign has just been trying to just survive and that's baloney. I do not want that as a situation. It, I'd rather expand a bit. But whatever, it's up to you guys, my tacticians, my generals, my my amazing gentlemen and ladies. I want you guys to tell me what to do, and I will see you in the next episode. Ah, bye bye.